Hey everybody, today we're going to take a quick look at Skyscraper, directed by Ross and Marshall Thurber and starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Nev Campbell. Johnson plays a former SWAT team member who lost his leg in a domestic disturbance gone horribly wrong. Now he works as a security consultant, and a friend just got him a gig checking out a skyscraper in Hong Kong, which is now the tallest building in the world. But then some terrorists show up and everything goes to shit, and The Rock has to fight to save his family before they go up in flames. So if you didn't already figure this out from the trailer, this is a movie about a man trying to save his family from a building that has been taken over by a European terrorist. It's The Rock Does Die Hard. And as far as Die Hard clones go, it could have been worse. Could have been better too, but I had fun. It's got some good action sequences and plenty of death-defying escapes. I honestly lost track of how many times The Rock almost died in this movie. And yes, some of those death-defying escapes are completely ridiculous. The scene where The Rock leaps from that crane to the window on the side of that skyscraper looks no less silly in the movie than it did in the trailer. It's got some good fight scenes. There is one in particular that takes place in an apartment that is just brutal. I can't believe this was made by the same guy who made Dodgeball. I'm not kidding, look it up. Johnson was his usual awesome badass self, even on one leg. And Campbell, who plays his wife, was quite the badass herself. Definitely not the damsel in distress, oh no. Hell, she and The Rock basically take turns saving each other. And I did thoroughly enjoy this movie's rather creative use of duct tape. Ridiculous though it may have been. If you can't fix it with duct tape, you're not using enough duct tape. The movie does have a few weak spots, and unfortunately, one of them is the villain. All of those death-defying stunts and brutal fights are great and all, but in a movie like this, the hero really needs a strong villain to go up against, especially when the hero is the fucking rock. And unfortunately, Roland Muller, who plays the villain, is not the Alan Rickman to Johnson's Bruce Willis. Though I don't know if that's entirely his fault, because honestly, I don't think Thurber gave him all that much to work with. Also, the main source of the conflict in this movie, the terrorists taking over this skyscraper, has a simple solution that the hero in this movie completely overlooked, and it kinda makes him look stupid. Basically, Johnson is given access to this building's security, so he can assess it, of course, and the access is granted via a tablet that uses facial recognition to give him access. So in order for the terrorist to take over the building, they jump him, steal the tablet, hold it in front of his face to unlock it, and then run off. So let that be a lesson to all of you. Facial recognition is not a secure form of authentication. That's one thing the movie got right. But here's the thing. At this point, after he's had that tablet stolen, literally all he had to do was pick up the phone and call the owner of the skyscraper and be like, hey, Mr. Zhao, I just had my tablet stolen. Sorry about that, but uh, you might want to deauthorize it before they do anything bad with it. Oh yeah, sure thing. Okay, done. Cool, see you tomorrow. And that's it, problem solved. But of course, then we wouldn't have a movie. So yeah, it's got some issues and it is pretty ridiculous, but... It's my kind of ridiculous, and I honestly did have fun with it. I would not say it's worth full price, but for a matinee, you could do worse. I know that's not exactly glowing praise, but there it is. And that about wraps it up for Skyscraper. Till next time, take care.